Hello, this is Amanda with From Where I Stand, near Kingston, Ontario. And I'm here today to share with you the awesome Otters stamp set. This is an adorable set that um, is free with a $60 order. So I'm going to show you a card idea um, using some items that um, add up to over $60 Canadian, which is what you need to earn the stamp set for free. And um, so I'll swap the cameras around and we'll get started. All right, so I'm just gonna move the stamp set over there for a moment. The celebration video or video celebration catalog is available. So if you need one, please let me know. But you can also download them. But sometimes it's better to look at a paper copy. So on page eleven is this adorable, awesome otter, otters stamp set. So here are some ideas using this set. So great for birthdays. And it also works with the Simply Marvelous designer series paper, which I haven't gotten yet, but that's on my wish list. So celebration catalog, there's a lot of things in here. And a $60 order, you get to choose one item from there for free. Okay, so this, let's get a better look at this awesome otter stamp set. So it's birthday time. You are utterly awesome. Oops, there we go. With a little birthday hat. And I'll just leave my finger out of there. A little fishy. I'm poking his head or her head out of the water. And just, just wanting to go in for a hug. All right. So if you're wanting to earn that free, project, products I'm going to use today are the Tasteful Labels dies. So we're going to use probably this, this die right here. So they are $42 Canadian. Then we're going to use, I'm not sure, either crumb cake or soft suede um, stamp and blends. So I'll figure out which color, but they're $12 for two. So you get a light and a dark. Either whenever you buy blends, you get two. One's light, one dark. So we'll see which one works best. And then we have for $15.75 is the, my favorite. I don't know if it's my favorite designer series paper ever. I don't know if I could say that because I might just say that every time. But um, this paper has kind of a watercolor. Well, it is a watercolor wash. And look at all that. This is the back side. And then this is the other side with all these great scenes on it. But this... We're going to use this page and we're going to use was it that one. What one? Where did it go? Mm, I thought it was right there. Anyway, I'll show you the pieces. So I'll move that off to the side for a minute. So we have our evening evergreen cardstock, which I have cut in half and scored like so then we have a piece of basic white cardstock and then this my camera's being a little slow so i apologize this is a piece from this six by six paper designer series paper so this here will go here and this is not the sheet I wanted. Oh, there's the sheet I wanted. So this design here, I've trimmed off the bottom piece. So this piece right here, just to give a little piece across. All right. So tasteful labels, blends, designer series paper equals $69.75 plus shipping plus tax. But then you receive the awesome otter stamp set. That's what you need to do this. Now, if you don't have, uh, if you have some lovely dies and you have some designer series paper you're going to use, then an option for you is the stamp and cut mini machine, stamp and cut and emboss mini machine. So this here is $82 Canadian. Um, and that's an option as well. So if you're wanting to get into die cutting, then this would be a great piece to have. So um, the other option is if you wanted the main big machine, 
it's uh oh i don't want to die cut right now sorry i would suggest if you wanted the bigger machine to die cut that i would um join as a demonstrator because it would be a lot better value for you all right so we need a clear block that would be very helpful and i'm going to use the the otter with the fish because he's adorable we're going to stick that on the block and with Stampin' Blends, we want to use Memento ink to ink that up. And I do have my Simply Chamois with a little bit of water here to clean it up. Yeah, my camera is slow, so I apologize. Something must be going on. So we're going to stamp that right in the center because we're going to die cut it out like so. Clean that up. There we go. Put that lid back on that ink, which you can't see, but I don't want to get anything stuck in it. And I like putting my stamps back right away. Keeps my desk a little tidier. All right. So I'm just, oops, I'm going to check. Yeah, so that'll work. So we're going to try the soft suede. I thought I was going to do crumb cake, but now that I'm looking at it, I think maybe suede might be a better choice for an otter i'm just going to use this to see which one i like better and that gives you an idea which one you might like better all right so here's our otter there's our little otter isn't that cute so fish, that fish so cute and then there's our two colors so they're very very similar but the crumb cake is a little, little lighter. Now, another thing I would suggest is having something under your basic white cardstock. So whether you do a um, piece of cardstock, or not cardstock, um, grid paper or copy paper or something like that, I would suggest putting something down. I'm gonna use the um, uh, Stamparatus Deluxe Foam Mat. Um, and when coloring, you wanna do the light color first. I'm actually gonna use the paintbrush end. So that's that thicker end. The little end here is for a pen. So you can see the paintbrush and a pen end. So you always start with the light. And I am using the light, correct? It says here on the side. And we're just gonna do along the edge. down to its tail and you might have a better control with the um, the pen end and you can mix colors as well from stamp and blends and you can add in kind of some blue for the water maybe color in that fish so i'm going to use the pen end here and i'm just going to right around the edge kind of sort of like this make that tail a little darker all right doesn't look very nice at the moment does it I know my camera's not all that close, but uh, that's okay. I'll show you in a minute. So right now, this is what he looks like. Kind of silly. But we go back in with our blends. And we color in more of our little fella. And it pulls that darker color along and blends in the darker with the light so you want to get rid of those harsh lines so you want to color over where kind of sort of where the dark is so here is my second pass or my first pass with the with the light after putting some dark on and i always put my lids back on that's very important 
a little bit more dark over here. So a little bit more dark on the tail. Kind of something like that. So I'll blend those edges again. And I'm leaving the feet alone for now until I get this kind of the way I want it. And you want to be careful about how much blending you do, depending on the cardstock you have. So here's my second or third pass. So a little bit better. Blend that a little more. And then we'll just do light for the hands or pause. Now, if you had, say, one set, say, if, if you wanted, you could use the crumb cake to color in the belly. So I'm just going to put a little bit of dark on the top here of each of the four paws. Then I'm going to blend that in. Fix up some of the, the edges. I think I like that. So there is our finished otter. Hmm. There we go. Having some camera issues today, so I apologize. But there's our cute little otter. So now we need to die cut him or her. I'm just going to call him him because I keep calling it him. So this is three and a half inches wide. So any cardstock you put on the mini will need to be three and a half inches wide, um, wide or smaller. So then we put this kind of center, our little otter in there, put the top on there, put it through to die cut it. Oops. And then voila. And the nice thing about these um, tasteful label dies is if you can see it there's a little bit of a can't really see it a little bit of an edge anyhow just take my word at all right so we are going to use some dimensionals and some liquid glue and put all of our pieces together so this piece, so our card base is four and a half by five and four and a quarter by five and a half, apologies. And this here, our basic white piece is three and three quarters by five. And then this is um, three and a half by four and three quarters, I believe it is. You take a quarter off each each layer you want and you take an extra quarter if you want more edges if that makes sense. So put that down. And I love this grid, reusable grid. So you can put this piece down here, but I think they're not contrasting enough. So that's why I wanted to put this side down. Okay. I'm using my grid. If you follow me, you'll notice I use this grid a lot. I'm going to put this kind of centerish. I don't know if it's centerish or not, but like so. And then we're gonna glue, excuse me, glue this right on to our card base. You can add some ribbon, some I mean pearls could work, I guess. Um, 
or any other little embellishment if you wanted. And then we take our dimensionals and I prefer using tweezers to put these on the back. Whoopsie. Stuck together. and pull off some of them. You don't have to pull all of them off. And if you don't have dimensionals, you can just glue this right down onto the card. So we're gonna do, not quite center, we're gonna do a little bit, like centered this way, but not centered horizontally. Something like that. All right, so now we're gonna go back because a card needs a sentiment. And I think I'm going to do it's birthday time. Oh, come on. See, I haven't used this stamp set before, so it's sticking. So we use our memento again. And if you had the, um, um, think of the name of the cardstock, Evening Evergreen, you could use Evening Evergreen or another color, just depending on what you had. Stamp that down. Give it a little shake. Oops. Knocking things over. Clean off the birthday. All right. And grab my trimmer. I probably should have trimmed the cardstock first, but I didn't. So hopefully I don't smoosh my ink. So this is three quarters wide. Oh, and I guess what I should do as well is we're gonna angle that just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then we want to put um I don't like how thick that is. Like it's way too thick. So I'll just trim this down a bit, and if I mess up, I'll restamp it. No biggie. I'm just going to use those lines on the trimmer to get it the right straightness. All right, that looks better. That looks a heck of a lot better. All right. So I'm going to put one dimensional. So because we popped up the otter on dimensionals, we put a dimensional there. And then we put a little bit of glue on this end. And we want to take off this dimensional. So this way, our birthday can go, I'm going to put it right here. It's birthday time it goes right there. And voila, nice, simple card using some great new products. So the Awesome Otter stamp set, pick some blends. I did soft suede. And then pick some designer paper. I chose the 6x6 um, New Horizons, yeah, New Horizons designer series paper just because there's a good variety of colors. And it has a lot of purple and the Misty Moonlight, which is my favorite. So um, you, you do these products to create multiples of this card, this card stack you have in Memento Black, and it's $69.75 and you get this for free. Oh, and sorry, the tasteful label dies, I guess is important to mention. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And if you've enjoyed this video, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I, um, put videos up once a week. Thanks.